What's up guys, it's Cowboy hey, Cape Dippers coming at you, uh, doing another video here, uh, I know it's been a while, uh, been to school, haven't really got a chance to do anything lately, so yeah, we just, uh, after school we stopped and picked up some logs, we got some Copenhagen Wintergreen and some Copenhagen Straight, we're sitting in my truck right now, so, in this truck, so. it's raining out, look, as you can see, yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's my redneck sticker, and show them the new sticker. Show oh. them the new sticker. Look at my new sticker. Impeach Obama. Probably see. That pretty much speaks for itself. You probably see it better that way. Oh, no, you can't. You know, anyway, we're going to open these logs for you guys. I'm going to dip. He's going <clears> to <throat> He's gonna do it the weird way. Just taking it off. Show him how you're taking it off, man. Right. Pulling it down. That's how I do it. I don't know. Never really. You don't really need to do it a proper way. Just turn it out of there like that. How are you going to do it? Like that shit. We're going to watch. Oh. Oh, mm, let's find it. You don't. You never want to cut your other can now. Then you'll be fucked. Show me what we're doing. Oh, ready, ready. Ooh. I never want to cut the one can. I was doing this shit with a fucking sword the one day. Oh, man, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up closer. Ready? Ooh. There we go. There we go. There you go. Picked it right off and then look, the other can just stays right in there. You can do it this way too, it's just, it's a lot more excess on the end. That looks a lot cleaner. Anyway, we're going to crack these cans for you guys. Snuff skins! Snuff skin! <laughs> See, it's not cracked yet. We're gonna, I'm just cutting my nails so it's going to be hard as shit. There we go. Oh yeah, cracked. Uh, yep, that's definitely, I cut myself again. I that's definitely myself again. Copenhagen leaving out a pinch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cut myself again. It was bleeding like a real bitch. Because of that butterfly knife. Mm. It's a fucker. Love that one in green. Virtual smell for you guys? Smell. Oh, look, I always leave a little chip on my thumb for a dip. So you just go. Oh, look, it fits right in there. It's right in there. Oh, wow, man, this can is tough. It's a tough bitch. Look at the stem. Oh, I fucking hate the stem. You guys can see it. Stem there. What the fuck is wrong with this can? Can get it? Wow, that labels. They double labeled it. Are you fucking serious? There's a stem for you guys. They double labeled it? Yeah. Feels Holy like shit. it. Oh, I'm going to throw dip for you guys. Mm. Look at that. Look how fucking terrible that was. Oh, because they fucked up on the labeling. Put See? a decent sized dip for you guys. <laughs> See? Oh, if, as you can probably hear, you can probably hear the rain hitting off my metal roof. 91 Ford F Womp Petty. Richard's keeping it straight. A little up. My gums are finally back to normal. Mine aren't. Mine are getting worse. <laughs> Damn, hear that loud packing. Well, yeah, we were running on depth. We decided to go out and grab a couple logs. Uh, we never did a log bit oh, before, wow. so. Wow. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Send a complete to Copenhagen. You buy Copenhagen, you're buying about a pinch of air. Virtual sniff. Okay. But yeah, we haven't made a video in a couple of days. Um, just trying to catch you guys up on some some uh, YouTube talk. <laughs> I'll put some more in that hold on. And uh, yeah, hmm, burn a little bit. 
I don't know why. But yeah, one thing I was hearing the other day, I was watching some YouTube videos today when I was taking a ship. And, Fuck! And I found out... Oh, they got a little better. That can, Canada is, um... Do you know how much you're paying per camper? Since, you know, most tobacco companies aren't in Canada. The smokeless tobacco, anyway. They had to import it in Canada. And to get it across the border, by the time it gets to Canada, maybe it's, say Canada, Copenhagen, Wintergreen, just say, 15 to 16 American dollars. For a can of dip. A can of dip, and we only pay two or three bucks. I think that's what they said. What? I think that's what they said. Yeah. The RCL Mojo one said it. Just check out any Canadian dipper um, YouTube channels, and they're going to explain to you how expensive that shit is. I mean, it's just unbelievable. For a can of dip, they're paying 15 to 16 dollars. And up there, okay, you see how, like, it's like, there's, like, I guess how it's just, like, all the ca there. The lid's full. But in Canada, there's a centimeter out of a white line that shows okay. all the warning all and all the ingredients. Labels. All and then in the inside, there's a little circle that says Copenhagen Wintergreen. Yeah, there's only about maybe an inch diameter, just an inch, of what the product actually is. All the sides and the top, like the size of my finger, or more, like twice the size of my finger around, is pure warning labels. Nothing else. And in the middle, just in the middle, about, about say, <coughs> about, about that big. It is what it is. It's ridiculous. I mean, I can't even imagine that. I probably wouldn't be dipping if I was paying 16 bucks a can. No, we don't even pay for a log. We paid 10 bucks for a log. That's crazy. I guess up there it's probably even cheaper to buy it in bulk, like 10 logs at a time. Fucking old big old box of them. Fucking like By Walmart. By the time you probably get the last log, too, depending on how heavy a dipper you are, it's probably all dried out. Hey, my speakers, my speakers, my speakers. The water. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. God damn. Yeah, we got the windows open, so it doesn't look like we're a bunch of gay, gay dudes making out in here. But, uh, I guess that's how it's gonna be, because there's water coming in all over the place. Oh, fuck. I don't need my speakers fucked up. Um, we got a paper towel in here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little issue. Gotta clean up the truck. She is a 91, but she's still kicking. Yeah, I just, I couldn't believe that when I was watching YouTube today. Yeah, stuff that's going on around here, nothing much really, uh... Same old, same old, man. We're just, uh... I guess you'd call it a small, small town. <laughs> uh, small right part out, of a town. Right outside the ghetto, basically. Fucking go into just York and then... It's funny. Because York... It's a two it's a two side street in York. Like in the inside of York it's all ghetto. As soon as you hit that outside it's all country. It's all hills and farmland. It's crazy. But uh yeah the Obama gun ban is definitely getting worse. Everybody's buying guns. And if 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 you know, you can't even buy a gun anymore because everybody's buying them up. And um, people who are making guns aren't making them because they're afraid if they make them. Obama's just going to outlaw them as soon as they make them and they won't be able to sell them. So they'll be out hundreds of thousands of, even millions of dollars, you know. So it's hard to get guns right now, I'm telling you. Uh, it's good that me and him, we've been saving them since we were little kids. Else we'd be shit out of luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's just crazy around right here. Tell you what, America's a lot different than what people think. I mean, yeah, well, some places you can't even do what we're doing now, making a video and putting it on the internet. We're pretty much... Lucky. Yeah. We're lucky as hell. We're like one of the five countries that are able to do that, you know, and people take that shit for granted. But, still, America's going down the toilet. Excuse me while I turn on my police scanner. Uh, gonna be a volunteer fireman soon. I'm tell you about that. Huh. I'm going to be a volunteer fireman. <laughs> I always wanted to be a fireman when I grew up or work on the railroad. Just like my brother. That's what I'm going to do. He didn't work as a firefighter, though. No, but my dad's one side of the family uh, is actually 